If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free Courtside Financial Discord. What's going on, everyone? My name's Obi, and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we talk about business and technology. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that's got the entire uh, automobile industry, the entire EV industry buzzing, the race for robo taxi or autonomous driving or autonomous taxi dominance. Specifically, we're going to be examining two powerhouses in the electric vehicle industry and their approach to it, Neo and Tesla. So this is going to be a super interesting, super insightful video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K subscribers before the year is over. If you could help us out with that, we'd be ever so grateful. Click the notification bell icon and leave a comment down below. All your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel. And without further ado, let's get into the episode. Let's start with NEO, the Chinese electric vehicle powerhouse that has been making waves with its technology and strategic partnerships. One of NEO's uh, key strategic collaborations is with Mobileye, a, a subsidiary of Intel that focuses on autonomous driving. Back in 2019, NEO and Mobileye joined forces to develop level 4 autonomous driving vehicles. These vehicles are capable of operating without human intervention under specific conditions. Fast forward to January 2020. 23 and we see the fruits of their labor hitting the roads in germany the neo es8 equipped with mobile eyes self-driving lidar technology began autonomous driving tests in germany following a rigorous approval process by tuv sud an independent testing and certification authority but mobile eyes um, involvement with uh neo isn't limited to isn't limited to germany in september 2022 uh, Mobile Eye and Neo began testing the ESA equipped with this technology in Detroit, Michigan. That's where I'm from. This marked the first time that their cars were tested on U.S. roads. The system, known as Mobile Eye Drive, includes an impressive array of 13 cameras, six radars, nine lidars, all powered by the IQ system on a chip. This setup provides robust sensing and redundancy, all critical for safe autonomous driving. What makes Mobile Eye's approach truly unique is its true redundancy sensing subsystem. This involves a separate camera and radar slash lidar system that work independently to enhance reliability and safety. Additionally, Mobile Eye's road experience management, crowdsource mapping, and responsible sensitivity safety adapt the vehicle's driving uh, behavior to local driving conditions and regulation. But the fun doesn't stop there. Neo is also doing uh, testing with Mobile Eye in Tel Aviv, Israel. Um, Mobile Eye is a company out of Tel Aviv, Israel, by the way. In June 2021, the company shipped its uh, cars to Tel Aviv, Israel for autonomous driving projects. This project was initially planned with Volkswagen. It got delayed, and that's what prompted the shift to Neo vehicle. The trials have expanded from initial routes in Tel Aviv to more extensive coverage, and they're aiming to continue doing so. We'll see when they get around to having fully commercial robo taxis on the road for uh, consumption the service for the service for consumption at least switching gears let's talk about tesla the ev giant led by the none other than the ambitious elon musk tesla's approach to autonomous driving centers around its software fsd full self-driving while tesla has made significant strides with its driver assistance uh, features is often criticized for um, often over promising and under delivering on fully autonomous capability. Just recently, Elon Musk announced that on August 8th, 2024, they would unveil a dedicated robo taxi. This came after reports from Reuters that Tesla uh, had scrapped plans to deliver its lower cost electric vehicles. Some called it the Model 2. Uh, Reuters had reported that they scrapped this to focus on the robo taxi. Musk denied the claim. But anyhow, Musk's announcement about the robo-taxi on August 8th was met with excitement and skepticism given uh, given everything that's happened prior. Tesla kind of has a history of ambitious timelines that are often met with delay. Tesla's full self-driving relies heavily on in-house self-development. The system uses a combination of cameras and advanced neural networks to navigate and make 
human-like driving decision. Tesla vehicles equipped with FSD can perform a variety of tasks, but they still require driver supervision. The driver needs to be ready to take control at any moment. Despite these advancements, Tesla's full self-driving has yet to retreat, yet to achieve full autonomy. FSD remains a feature that assists rather than replaces the, the driver at this moment in time. And regulatory hurdles continue to slow the rollout of full self-driving cars for Tesla. So let's compare approaches. How do Neo and Tesla stack up in terms of each other in the race to robo-taxi? It's a story of technological in-house development versus strategic partnerships. Neo leverages strategic partnerships with particularly companies like Mobileye to enhance its driving uh, experience and capability. This allows Neo to benefit from Mobileye's technology and its global testing experience. Tesla, on the other hand, focuses on in-house development, giving it full control over its technology, but also making it responsible for overcoming technical and regulatory hurdles. NEO has initially targeted the Chinese market and key international markets like the US, Germany, and Israel. Integrating autonomous vehicles into public transportation systems and on-demand shuttle. Tesla has a broader, more global um, vision for the outset, aiming to de deploy uh, their robo taxis in whatever markets that they're currently playing in. We recently saw Elon Musk out there in China during the Beijing Auto Show looking to get his robo taxis going out there, meeting with some very important people. Then there's hardware and software integration. Neil's approach includes the use of LiDAR, radar, and cameras providing a comprehensive sensing system. Their vehicles in this capacity, specifically the capacity of robo taxis, are equipped with mobilized IQ chips for processing power. Tesla has famously decided against using LiDAR. Relying instead on cameras, of course, its proprietary FSD computer to interpret the driving environment. So let's talk about the road ahead and wrap up. Both Neo and Tesla are pushing the boundaries of what's possible in autonomous driving and robotaxi. Neo's strategy of leveraging its partnerships and focusing on specific markets allows it to methodically expand its capabilities and reach. Meanwhile, Tesla's global ambitions and in-house development position it as a leader in the autonomous vehicle market, despite the challenges and delays that they have faced. As we move closer to a future where robo-taxis could become a common sight on our road, we already have them out here where I currently live in um, Arizona under Waymo, Google's subsidiary. The competition between these two um, giants will undoubtedly shape the landscape of autonomous driving, Neo and Tesla. Whether it's Neo's methodical approach or Tesla's ambitious vision, who will come out on top remains to be seen. But one thing's for certain, the race for Robo Taxis is heating up and the journey is just as exciting as the destination. That's all for today's episode of the Courtside Financial Podcast. I hope you found it insightful, exciting, uh, interesting, at the very least entertaining. If you found any of those things, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell icon, leave a comment down below. We're trying to get to 10K before the year is over. If you can help us out with that, we'd be ever so grateful, but we'll catch you in the next installment.